Saturday marks the 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks and it changed our country forever. Uh, a Houston uh, woman was on one of the flights that was hijacked that day. Uh, this morning her father is opening up uh, about what happened. KPRC 2 Sophia Ojeda is live uh, at Market Street Park in downtown Houston at a memorial uh, dedicated in her honor. Sophia? Good morning, Owen and Lisa. I do. I want to show you the memorial here in the heart of downtown. This is for Lauren Catuzzi Grancolas. You can see it has a beautifully uh, designed waterfall feature here with the stones. The water is not on at this hour, but this entire area, is, it was created to honor all those lives lost on September 11th and also the courage and strength of the heroic efforts of those on United Airlines Flight 93 that day. A 38-year-old Houston area native, Lauren Catuzzi Grancolas, was three months pregnant and headed home to her husband in San Francisco on September 11, 2001. She boarded United Airlines Flight 93, at Flight 2 hijacked by terrorists. Several passengers on the plane devised a plan and stormed the cockpit to regain control. The flight later crashed into a field in Pennsylvania, not its intended target of Washington, D.C., and it killed everyone on board. Lauren's family tells me they believe that she, too, was part of those heroic efforts that day, that she was calm when she called them and left her family a voicemail and said there was a problem on the plane. She then let others use her phone to call their families, too. Needless to say, there's been a tremendous void. Uh, I mean, she lit up the room, uh, and she just was a constant a, a constant um, companion for all of her friends and everyone we've ever talked to that knew Lauren said the same thing, golly, we miss her so. And her father also told me that when Lauren died on United Airlines Flight 93, she was in the middle of writing a book, and the book was designed um, to inspire others to try new things, encourage to learn new things, anything from skydiving to balancing your checkbook. And her father tells me that her sisters actually ended up finishing the book for her. So coming up at 6 this morning, uh, in just an hour, we're going to have more on how her family is continuing to honor her legacy, keep her memory alive right here in the Houston area as well. And we'll have more on her foundation and how you can also help to honor all of those lives lost on September 11, 2001 and the heroic efforts by so many on that fateful day. Reporting live downtown, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC 2 News. Sophia, thank you so much for sharing that. We'll see you next hour. 9-11 is